What nerd at some point in their life hasn't imagined having their own R2-D2? Now there's a way to build a working R2-D2. Best of all, you don't need to be an engineer. Even I can do this. What's up everybody? My name is Matt, often called Big Nerdy. You are the N-W-O, the Nerd World Order. And this is a few weeks back, I got an email from a company called Fanhome, who I admittedly I never heard of, and they said, hey, we have an R2-D2 model kit that, you know, you build an authentic R2-D2. Can we send it to you to see what you think about it? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? To be honest, I was kind of skeptical because I'm like, I don't care about models. I don't, I paint like crap. Like this probably isn't for me, but you know what? I'll give it a go, see what happens with it. And I got to tell you, I got the first box and I opened it up and I was pretty blown away. And I really dove deep into what exactly this thing is because at first glance, I saw it once and I was like, eh, that's cool, whatever. But now, as I look deeper, like, ooh, this needs a second look. This is pretty cool. Q, fan home, emailing me again saying, hey, would you be interested in working with us and doing a couple of sponsored videos? And I'm like, uh, now that I know what this is, hell yeah, I'm in. Now I'm new to this whole model buildup thing in general, but I do remember listening to Matt Cardona on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast talk about his Ecto-1, I believe, from Ghostbusters that he was building up, and that was from another company. But it was really cool listening to him and Smart Mark getting the pieces in the mail and starting to put it together and build this thing. And I'm not really a Ghostbuster fan so it wasn't for me but i'm like yeah, it's a pretty cool process too bad it's not like something i care about like star wars what so yeah if you can't tell i'm pretty excited about this but i gotta be honest with you it's not for everyone because it is not cheap so know that going in this is not like a little nickel and dime thing that you can do cheaply this is an investment but what you get in the end is a collection centerpiece there's not many of these that you can get every day I talked about the Haslab Galactus being one. This is another one. This is probably even more than the Galactus. This is a collection centerpiece. Another cool thing about this is it's a project and it's something that you can do with your kid. So if you're a mom or a dad, this is a great way to spend some time with your little budding nerd. And if you're a nerdy kid and you're looking for a way to connect with a parent, say, yo, mom, pops, hook me up. Let's do this together. So I did some research on Fan Home to start with and this company is older than I thought it was. It actually originated as D'Augustini Publishing and they They've made these types of things forever, but the company itself goes back to Italy. It's over 120 years old. They started off as map makers and editors, and there was a lot of history there. They even made a scale model of the Millennium Falcon back in the day that I didn't know existed. Now that I know it existed, I'm kind of jelly, in the words of the kids. Fanhill holds the rights to a bunch of different licenses to make these different types of kits with. Aside from Star Wars, they also have Marvel, Street Fighter, Fast and the Furious, and Naruto, whatever the hell that is. The product is a subscription-based model kit where each month you get a box with a couple of different stages of the model along with a magazine. R2-D2 himself is one half scale. So using some of my math skills, R2 is 42 inches tall in the movie supposedly. So that means this thing should be right around 21 inches. This is advertised as being an advanced autonomous droid with interactive intelligence and multiple modes and functions. With his sensors, cameras, microphones, and sophisticated logic boards along with power Powerful motors, R2-D2 can interact with his owner as well as move and behave just like the droid from the Star Wars movies. Some of his features include a rotating metal dome with a built-in camera, two modes of operation, be it user-directed or AI, speakers and microphones so that I can listen to verbal commands and do its usual beep boop beep to communicate. That was an R2 impression for those who didn't know. The onboard camera is capable of storing its own photos and videos, and there's a projector that can emit images of Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker. R2 is capable of moving and turning just like the real R2, with a third leg there for support. Feel like that's a dirty joke, but it's really not. His arms are both extendable and foldable, and he has a hidden little compartment to stick a lightsaber that's spring-loaded to pop out. What else can you ask for? After you assemble R2, head on over to the App Store or the Android Store, whatever they call it. I don't know, I'm an Apple guy, but there's an app for this puppy, and you can then control him with your voice commands through the app. You can control his movements, the way his head moves, his retractable arms and whatnot. It's pretty awesome. The app is what you use to take pictures and videos or to show those messages of Leia. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Couldn't help myself. Not sure what Luke would say, though. It's like a what if thing. And of course, with the app, you can activate your hidden lightsaber, Return of the Jedi style. As I said, each section of R2 comes with a little magazine. Each one has three sections. In the first section, Building the Galaxy, we get a look behind the scenes at the droids, ships, sets, and creatures in the Star Wars universe. It also shows development from concept to the final model. Another section of the magazine is the Droid Factory, which gives you details on R2 units in the fictional Star Wars universe as well as their purpose. 
This also includes some blueprints in there, so I think that's pretty cool. Last but not least is the understanding robotics section. This section explains the tech behind the parts that you're assembling and their functions. This is also really great for kids because they're gonna learn about things like sensors, motors, Wi-Fi, logic stuff. They're gonna be smarter than me by the time they're done building this thing, unless I build it with them then we're gonna be equally smart. You don't need any special skills to build this thing. It's designed for beginners. As far as tools go, all you need is a screwdriver, which it comes with in the first kit. And if you're like me and reading the instructions inside the magazine aren't enough, there are videos for each stage available for you to go check and see how this stuff is done if you're having a hard time visualizing it. In addition to everything I said, there are some bonus gifts that come along the way that you get with R2. These include a hat, a notebook, a coffee mug, a Darth Vader wall decal, and large format 8x12 prints perfect for framing. All right, let's talk about how this works because the website's not super clear on how this works. So let me explain it for you and I think I can break this down pretty easily. So each month you get a box. Inside that box is a number of stages. The first month only comes with stage one and two. Every other month comes with four stages. For each stage, there is a magazine and there is an assembly kit. So each stage is $13.99 plus $2.40 shipping. That means that after you get through the introductory offers, it's $65 a month. There is 100 stages, which means that this is gonna take you 25 months to build, so over two years. And in the end, it's gonna cost you a little bit over $1,500. Now, while the grand total is over $1,500, the first two months are discounted, so you do get a little bit of a break, and of course, you can cancel any time. If you're on the fence about this for $8, I really encourage you to give this a try because $8 is like a Big Mac these days. Get it in the house and sit down with your kids or your parents, whoever you're doing this with. Go through the magazine together and build a couple of first phases. They won't take you long and see what their engagement level is. If they're really enjoying it and you're enjoying the bonding time, then you just found a project that you guys are going to be able to do together for the next two years and the memories are gonna last a lifetime. And if you don't like it, just cancel it and you're out eight bucks, no big deal. There is a link down in the description. And remember, you gotta get old, but you don't have to grow up. Just be cool and stay nerdy. Later.